Hi everyone, I'm Hedy, and today I'm going to show you how to cook a Korean style chicken ginseng soup. This is one nourishing soup with ingredients like red dates, panax ginseng, tangshen, and I'm using a sakura chicken which is leaner and not as oily. Start off by soaking the glutinous rice in 500 ml of water for one hour. Soak the dried shiitake mushrooms in about 200 ml of water. After washing the red dates, half them lengthwise using a pair of scissors. Cutting the red dates allows them to release their sweetness and aroma into the soup. Cut the tangshen into small pieces about 2 cm in thickness each. Once the glutinous rice is done soaking, season it with 1 third teaspoon of salt. We are also going to season the chicken with a teaspoon of salt. Remember to rub the salt all over the chicken both on the outside as well as its cavity. And now we're going to stuff the chicken. Take some of the glutinous rice and place it in the chicken's cavity. Along with a few pieces of red dates, more of that rice, a few pieces of tangshen, and two pieces of panax ginseng. Having the herbs together with the rice will impart flavour and aroma to the glutinous rice inside the chicken. Shiitake mushrooms have excellent flavour, so add in a few pieces of those in there as well. As we're using a whole chicken, don't waste any parts. Throw in the feet into the soup pot as that will lend flavour to the soup. Then place the entire chicken with the legs and breasts facing upwards into the pot. Add a quartered white onion, three pieces of bay tea, the remaining panax ginseng, tangshen, shiitake mushrooms, and red dates. Doesn't the dish look appetizing even before you begin cooking it? I use 3.5 liters of water to cook the chicken. But depending on your pot, as long as you have water covering the chicken by about an inch, you should be fine. Cover and simmer for half an hour over medium-low heat. Season the soup with one teaspoon of salt. Then put the lid back on and simmer over low heat for another hour. After that, keep the pot covered, turn off the heat and let the chicken sit and cook in residual heat for another hour. In the meantime, you can prepare the leek by slicing it diagonally. After a total cooking time of two and a half hours, bring the chicken soup back to a boil. And add in the wolf berries. Followed by the leek. Bring the soup to a rolling boil you're all ready to serve. Look at how tender that chicken meat is from all that slow cooking. See how glistening and glossy that rice filling is inside the chicken and just think about all that flavour from the herbs and the onion and the leek. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
and happy cooking at home.